welcome back to another edition of Animal General with me, your host, Dr. Mike Hutchinson. Today, I'm going to talk about a passion of mine, stem cells. But if you remember back in podcast number five, I did Stem Cells 101. And if you want to go back there for a refresher, you'll learn more about stem cells and the terminology than most doctors out there. And I mean that. But I'm going to talk about stem cells that are about three quarters of the way up on that totem pole. Remember the top of the totem pole are embryonic stem cells. Stem cells are repair cells. About three quarters of the way up, there's a stem cell called a pluripotent stem cell. And what that has the ability to do is to turn into every tissue in the body except the placenta. So it won't turn into your eye or the puppy or the dog, but it can turn into every tissue in the body. It can turn into heart tissue, pancreatic tissue, nerve tissue, muscle tissue. Kind of cool. So I want to talk about some work we're doing with that right now. And I want to just let you know what's going on so that you know what's coming for us, us humans, because they're finding these cells in our blood. So out of that blood, we're getting these high-level stem cells. Now, remember we have those embryonic stem cells at the top, but they can turn into cancer. We can't control those. But these pluripotent stem cells do not turn into cancer. They have low enzyme activity, so they do not have that ability to turn into cancer, which makes them a very useful cell, hopefully, for repair. Now, some uh, bright scientists have found a way to harvest these out of blood. A, f a colleague, friend, I actually he's on the medical side, not the veterinary side, Dr. Vasilis Paspilier has found a way to take these pluripotent stem cells out of animals' blood and people too, but we'll get into that on another, on another podcast. So what I'm excited about is he asked me to look at the function of these cells on animals with diseased organs, things like kidney disease, things like liver disease. Things with neurodegenerative diseases, you know, like spinal issues, spinal cord issues, things like Lou Gehrig's disease in animals, we call it degenerative myelopathy. So, of course, I was excited to look at that. And so what we're doing is taking a blood sample. We're processing out these very small embryonic-like cells called these pluripotent stem cells from the blood. We're injecting into these animals with these conditions, and we're starting to see objective measures improve very quickly. Things that we thought there were no treatments for other than maybe a kidney transplant or a liver transplant, we're now seeing them improve with these stem cells. And so that's pretty exciting. So I told you that these pluripotent stem cells have the ability to turn into the pancreas. They can turn into the heart tissue. They can turn into kidney tissue. They can turn into a muscle. They can turn into nerves. So what's the limit of these cells? Well, we don't know yet. I wasn't looking at things like osteoarthritis with these cells at the beginning, but recently I decided to start using them in osteoarthritis. And now we're starting to see, and I don't have a year or two behind me yet, but early data, 60-day, 90-day data, we're starting to see the same benefits of these pluripotent stem cells that we saw using fat stem cells, those MSCs or mesenchymal stem cells that I talked about in podcast five, if you want to go back and review it. So it's exciting. Now, instead of doing a surgery to obtain the fat, maybe we can just take a blood sample, which is a very simple thing to do, harvest out these cells and readminister them back to the animal. And let me get back to that youth factor for just a second. What if one day we could take blood from a young child or a younger animal and harvest these stem cells and give it to an older patient and maybe do some good with our brains and with our hearts and with organ damage? Wouldn't that be neat? Thank you for tuning in. And remember, don't just live and let live, but live and help live.